Hello, my name is Kaylee Lennon. I am from the Randolph chap chapter in Nebraska, and I am doing the Teach and Train Senior Start Project. A common question that many students are asked throughout their high school career is, what do you want to be when you grow up? As I've gone through high school, this answer has changed. Now, as a graduating senior, I have made my decision to become a family and consumer sciences teacher. Across the country, family and consumer sciences is referred to by many names. In Nebraska, where I come from, we refer to it as FCS, which is how it will be abbreviated in this presentation. When it first came time to decide what FCCLA Star Project to do this year, my choice became quite simple when I heard about the Teach and Trade Star Project. I chose this project as a way to learn more about my future career. I started off my project by using the FCCLA planning process to create a timeline to follow. The main concern I identified was my desire to become a family and consumer sciences teacher. I set my goal to learn more about the daily activities of FCS teachers by completing the Teach and Trade Star project. I formulated a plan that included creating my own lesson plan that I would present to three classes. I also chose a best practices family and consumer sciences teacher to shadow. To put my plan into action, I conducted self-assessments and career research, prepared and presented a lesson plan over stress, shadowed and interviewed Mrs. Peggy Anderson, compiled my portfolio, and practiced my presentation. In the follow-up phase of my project, I sent thank you notes to everyone who helped me and discovered an even greater desire to become an FCS teacher. In order to learn more about the daily activities of FCS teachers, I explored many different areas of this career. While looking into the education qualifications, I discovered that I would need a minimum of a bachelor's degree to teach FCS, although a master's degree is often recommended and preferred. I would also need a career education certificate as my licensure requirement to teach in Nebraska. The skills of FCS teachers I learned included managing students in the classroom setting, communicating orally and in writing with a wide variety of people, and having patience for students of different learning levels. While looking into future job outlook, I discovered from a December 2012 article in the Omaha World Herald that there were only 19 FCS education graduates in Nebraska for 39 job openings in the state for the 2012-2013 school year. This trend is expected to continue with a 17% increase in employment through 2018. The last area of my exploration was entry-level positions in advancement. Most FCS teachers begin their careers teaching at the middle school or high school levels. FCS teachers can find advancement by furthering their education, teaching at the college level, or by becoming an administrator or head of their department in their school. After exploring the career of FCS education, the next step was to assess myself to make sure that FCS education was a good fit for me. After evaluating my feelings about my decision, I decided I was personally interested in the career of FCS education because the FCS courses I took in high school were always my favorites. Also, as an enthusiastic FCCLA member, I realized that FCCLA would not be possible without FCS courses. Most importantly, I want to help future students learn the important skills that are taught in these courses. According to my results and the Cooter Skills Confidence Assessment, my personal skills rate high in the area of family and community services and early childhood development and services. This indicates I have a strong background of working with young students. According to my results and the Cooter Work Values Assessment, I have highest work value was accomplishment. This fits the career of education quite well because as a teacher, I have gained a sense of accomplishment from helping my students to learn and succeed. These are the results of my computer self-assessments. The top two pathways I've snapped to overall were family community services and administration and administrative services. When it came time to decide on the topic for my lesson plan, I thought about several family and consumer sciences classes I've taken and what important skills I learned in them. In my adult living class my junior year, stress management was discussed as an important life skill for adult life. I settled on the topic of stress for my lesson plan because it's something that affects everyone and students should learn to manage it at a young age. I created a lesson, I created an outline for my lesson plan on stress. The main objectives were for students to identify the different types of stress and comprehend how stress affects them. I addressed the National FCS Standard 1.1 of my lesson plan. Students learn to manage multiple responsibilities while maintaining a healthy stress level. My lesson plan took about 45 minutes to carry out in the top and were, was presented to three classes the life, Random High Life Skills class, Random High FCS 7 class, and the Crofton High Adult Living class. 
I started off my lesson plan by having students participate in a headache massage as a fun way to get them interested and involved in the lesson. I then gave a PowerPoint lecture over the different types of stress, causes, and effects of stress, along with discussing several stress relieving st strategies. The students then create, watched, two, watched two videos about stress. The first discussed many stressors in our daily lives and how they affect us. The second discussed the different, different strategies stress-relieving strategies of stress routines. After the videos, the students created posters in groups about their own stressors in their lives and how they deal with them. While the students were working on the posters, I went around to each of the groups with the iPad explaining to them a variety of stress-relieving apps that were found on the iPad. These were all downloaded for free from the iTunes store and were ones the students would be able to download onto their own electronic devices at home. Once the posters were completed, each group presented their poster to the rest of the class. Following the presentation of the posters, the students completed a short quiz over stress, over information that was completed in the PowerPoint and in the videos. Once the po I concluded the lesson by having students complete evaluation forms as a fun way for me to realize different areas where I can improve as a teacher to better reach my message to the students. In the case of extra time, I prepared stress journals for the students to use to record and analyze different stressful events in their lives, along with listing their favorite stress relievers. All students were rewarded at the end of the lesson with a small square of bubble wrap as a fun way to relieve their stress. I shadowed Mrs. Peggy Anderson on January 4th, 2013. During my day with Mrs. Anderson, I observed how she worked throughout the day. Her base knowledge of FCS courses made me realize how important the FCS courses that I am taking in high school truly are. She also gave me the advice during my interview with her to love what I teach and enjoy the students. I observed many traits of best practices teacher during my time with Mrs. Anderson, including keeping old lesson plans for future use, establishing a standard of respect in the classroom, and showing compassion for the students. Here are pictures from my presentations with the three classes, the Life Skills class, the FCS 7 class, and the Adult Living class. These are also the posters that were created by the students in the three classes. Also shown here is one of the full-scale examples created by the students. I created a gradebook to show the results of the assignments carried out by the students. All names were hidden and coded to protect the students' privacy. This stress test was completed by one of the students in the Random High Life Skills the student's name has been coded to protect their privacy. This evaluation sheet was completed by a student in my third presentation in the adult living class. And this, present, this evaluation sheet was completed by Mrs. Peggy Anderson, the SES teacher, whom I shadowed. I used several forms of technology to carry out my success with STAR project. These included my Acer laptop, which was used during the compilation of my portfolio and the presentation of my lesson plan. An HP printer was used to print off the pages of my portfolio and the resources, handouts, and worksheets used during my lesson plan. An external hard drive was also used to back up the information for my documents, along with an Apple iPad being used as a stress relieving resource during the lesson plan. I also used several online resources to carry out my STAR project. These include teachertube.com for the stress related relieving videos. Nebraska Career Connections for adult, for career research and self-assessments, and the iTunes Store as a dealer in the stress-relieving apps that were used on the iPad. After completing the Teaching Trade Star project, I am more prepared for my future career as an SCS teacher. I enjoyed the experience of teaching classroom students. This experience has only made me more prepared as I began my journey to college. I have been inspired to continue passing on the life skills that we know today as family and consumer sciences. Thank you.